The criminal trial of Hunter Biden, the son of U.S. President Joe Biden, has officially kicked off in Delaware. It's the first criminal trial of the child of a sitting president in U.S. history, and it involves gun charges. Here's what you need to know about the case. Last year, Hunter Biden was charged with lying about his use of illegal drugs when he bought a revolver in 2018 that he possessed for 11 days. He now faces three felony charges stemming from the purchase and has pleaded not guilty. It's one of two criminal trials he faces. The other involves federal tax charges brought separately in California. He has pleaded not guilty in that case as well, and the trial is set to begin in September. A plea agreement that would have resolved both the gun and tax charges without prison time collapsed last year. The Delaware case is expected to center on Hunter Biden's years-long crack cocaine use and addiction, which he has discussed publicly and written about in a 2021 book. Prosecutors are expected to present videos and photos of him smoking crack, evidence that was collected from his iCloud account, laptop, and phone messages. The government said it may also call Hunter Biden's ex-wife Kathleen Buell and other romantic partners to describe his addiction. If convicted on all charges in the Delaware case, Hunter Biden faces up to 25 years in prison, though defendants generally receive shorter sentences according to the U.S. Justice Department. There are potential political consequences, too, as the trial gives Republicans a chance to shift attention away from the numerous legal troubles of their party's presidential candidate, Donald Trump. Last week, Trump was convicted in New York of 34 felony counts of falsifying documents to cover up hush money paid to a porn star shortly before the 2016 election that put him in the White House. Trump is due to be sentenced on July 11th and has pleaded not guilty in three other pending criminal cases.